So here I am at the Sofitel Hotel in Athens, Greece at the airport. I'm right across, directly across from the terminals. Anyway, what I want to do is give you a full tour of the hotel, show you where it's at in comparison with the terminals, how to get over there, and just give you an idea if you should stay here or not. So far, very convenient driving right in here into the airport and unloading. And this is the lobby here where you check in. Right now it's about 11 o'clock and it's pretty busy, so I'm not sure if there's people checking out or checking in. So when we walked through the door to check in, I have to say I was a little bit of surprised there was a line out there. Normally at Sofitel, you just walk right up to the counter. But we weren't in line very long because they had a full staff there waiting for us all. And they got us through very, very quickly. The nice part, it was early in the morning and our room was ready. So we didn't have to wait on our room until the afternoon or the normal check-in time. That was very nice, they accommodated us. A baby grand piano here in the lobby, and that's where the concierge sits, right back over here. If you're looking straight ahead there, this is where the convention rooms are. I didn't bother to go down there and look, but if you are there for a convention, this is where you're gonna be. This is the lobby bar located adjacent to the front desk there. You have outside seating and inside seating here. So besides getting cocktails or beer, whatever you want to drink, they do have a full service menu in here. So if the other restaurant is closed, then you just pop into the bar and you can get whatever you want. A very comfortable lobby here. And up here on the left is where the other restaurant in the hotel is located. At this particular time, it was closed, but in a few minutes uh, more into the video, and I'm gonna show you what the restaurant looks like, especially during the day breakfast buffet that they put on. We moved on over to the elevators. We got assigned up to the executive club level, and I uh, was very, very pleased. It's up on the eighth floor. This is a nine floor hotel. So it's just one down. Over there to the left is where the executive lounge is, and I'll show you that in a minute also. I did notice when I walked down the hallways, they were absolutely spotless. The walls were spotless, and just a really, really nice decor that they have there. Very, very uh, beautiful with the muted uh, tones that are available. So here was our room and we go inside and uh, again very pleasantly surprised at what what I saw. Those are the two biggest most heavy comfortable robes I've ever had in my life I have to say. It was just about every facial feature that you can imagine on this earth that they have laid out for you from soup to nuts. Here's a giant shower with a bathtub in there and I'm telling you there's more controls in there than there are on the space shuttle. It's pretty neat but you got a rain shower very comfortable. It's a separate toilet from the other part of the bathroom. So if you have need privacy over here, you got it. Look at that bed. We'll talk about that in a second. So there's some USB ports next to the bed. You got a safe down there, your shoe shine kit, uh, and all your controls are right there next to the bed also. So you don't have to get up to turn the lights off. Thermostat there worked uh, great large flat screen TV in front of the bed. And what I liked here, you did have your espresso maker or you had a kettle uh, if you wanted to make a tea. Same thing on the other side, plenty of controls. And overall, the room is very, very beautiful, very inviting. And probably one of the most comfortable beds I've ever sat on, this massive king-size bed. Outstanding with fe feathered down pillows. It was great. Uh, from our room, you had a view over there to the terminal, so that shows this you. This is the executive club lounge here at Sofitel Hotel. I'll be a quick look, and then we'll show it again later tonight when they have the spread, the food, and the cocktails out. So the Executive Club Lounge is available to you uh, pretty much 24 hours a day. They, you can go in there, they have a coffee machine where you can make your coffee. Uh, they have sodas that are available for you, other types of drinks, waters that are available for you. And this is to give you a quick look at what it does look like 
and then I'll show you a little bit later what it looks like in the evening when they have it set up with all the uh, drinks out for you and the food that's available. This is a spa and fitness center. It's on the ninth floor, the very top with a spectacular view. And there's no shortage of employees that are up there waiting to help you out. Very, very accommodating, very nice. I wanted to take a look at the fitness center and here it is. It's not very big, pretty small, but this pool next door to the fitness center is absolutely gorgeous. You can sit back and enjoy the planes taking off on the runway across the road. And just what a great place to relax, as I said. We'll head back over and I'll give you another quick look at the fitness center so you get a better idea what they have in there. Some real basic machines, some free weights there, but enough to give you a workout. Now, here's the uh, restaurant, which is located down in the lobby. Very beautiful with the marble floors uh, walk in. I mean, just impressive uh, to take a look at. The breakfast buffet is, uh, was very well attended, I'll tell you that. But, and they had an endless supply of food that they had put out there. Just about every type of bread that you can imagine, all the cereals, the milk, all the things that go along with it. Uh, they had cold meats that were available to you, your hot meats, your scrambled eggs, sausages, just about everything you can possibly think of. The cheeses over there. And yeah, of course you had your guy making the omelets. Now, the rooftop or restaurant and floor I heard was just an outstanding place and you definitely need a reservation to get into there. So I decided to go up here and take a look at it. I was absolutely blown away by how beautiful it was up there. And they were more than willing to show me around knowing that I was filming the place. And that was really appreciated. But let's take a look at the outside seating. Just gorgeous. It was a little bit windy and a little bit of chill in the air, and that's probably why there was nobody sitting out here. But you just have some beautiful ambiance out here and some beautiful views if you stand up to look over through the glass there. Walk inside, you want yourself a cocktail. Uh, the bar has no shortage of all the fine spirits, anything that you might want, and some outstanding champagnes that they serve up there. So. Had we been staying a little longer here, we definitely would have taken in dinner at this uh, uh, rooftop restaurant. It was just excellent. And people that we talked to, they actually said it was really, really great. So here's the executive club in the evening, give you an idea. They put a nice little spread out there. There were all kinds of different things to eat. My favorite were the little meatballs that they had made up. They just had, were just, Excellent, excellent. And there's nuts and little sandwiches and stuff. And actually, there was more than enough to get you full for the evening. They serve beer and wine. It's all complimentary. This was some of the bottles of the wine that they uh, had. And it was quite, quite good. I'm not a beer drinker, but they did have a nice little selection there. All of your Coke, Sprite, and everything else. So here I want to show you navigating from the hotel to the Athens airport. I'm so if you're leaving the hotel and you have a flight in the morning or whenever, you just come directly across the street and you walk directly straight ahead. The escalators are over to the left. But if you're like us with a ton of luggage, You're going to take the elevators, so straight ahead through that door. <laughs> take it one floor up, and that's where the ticketing counter is going to be. So when you walk out of the elevators or the escalators, you want 
to go to the right. This is where all the Star Alliance ones are. Bottom line, it's super it's close to the uh, Star Alliance ones. Lufthansa or United. Lufthansa is at the very end down here. Basically, the end of the airport. An easier way to identify would be by the hundreds. These start at basically like 115 up to about 140. The Lufthansa is down at the 140 range. I have to say this is the most convenient airport hotel that I've ever stayed at. And I hope this gives you a hand on figuring it out if you decide to stay here. Thanks for watching Pat's Adventures and please leave a comment. I love to hear what people have to say about the video. Take care.